lot of people say there aren't any rules. And I would say there are. There are most certainly rules about a lot of things. You just don't have to follow them. But I would honestly say that it's really worth understanding and learning the rules so that you can then practice how the rules work, why they're rules, and then when you can break them and what that does. You can break rules, but you can break them better when you know them. Otherwise, you might just be lucky. If you get lucky breaking rules, how would you know? You know it works, but you don't know which rules you've broken or why. Now, as I'm learning rules, as I'm learning how to make art, I'll try to discuss what I think is important about certain rules over others. Tonal values are rules that I think are really important. I'll give you one quick example. If you were to paint a woods or draw it, let's say you're drawing it with some grayscale brush pens like these. Some of these are darker, some are lighter. What you should do as a, an exercise is to take one of the darker pens or the darkest pen and draw some trees around the edges. And then take some slightly lighter and draw some trees behind those. And then take some lighter again draw those behind those and that will be values tonal values which will offer depth to your drawing and by putting something dark up front and then lighter behind and even lighter still behind that you've created expanse you've created depth using tonal values that is rules that are based on observations on the real world that's just how vision works that's how the atmosphere and environment works. It's not only an observation by artists, it's a measurement by science. There's things which are just true. It's not something where we see it differently. If you see the world, then you see it the same. And it's worth applying these rules to your art making because it will add a lot of understanding to your rendering. And as I said, you can then play with that. You can play with breaking and bending those rules. See what happens. But if you weren't to know that, and you had these pens, and you were to only use this to draw these woods, and they were all the same tone, you wouldn't have that depth. You'd have perspective. If you understand perspective, you could do the trees smaller in the distance, larger in the foreground, but you wouldn't have the sense of an environment which creates the tonal values suggesting depth of an expanse. Try it out for yourself. But that's just one example of depth. And I think that's a really important one to understand how the world works. That's a rule. You don't need to follow it, but you should really understand it because then you can bend and break it at your will.